G'day guys, I've got a massive haul for you today. I spent $200 at Organised HQ and I got free shipping with that. And as you'll see here, unfortunately when it arrived, I had to go to the post office. They couldn't just drop it off here because it was leaking. And the three of the Koala Eco bottles had leaked on the way from Queensland to Victoria. So that was disappointing. I contacted them and just let them know what had happened and they're going to send some replacements. So I've mentioned in some of my other videos that I've been using up cleaning products for ages. I just wanted to try some new cleaning products. So I've gone with the Koala Eco range and I've got a variety of those. And then I've also gone with the Scrub Daddy. Now I've used Scrub Daddy before. We've got one at the moment in our sink. It's a green one. And I find the flex texture, that's what it's called. And that's what they've trademarked. It's a different consistency to like a sponge. So let's go through it. The first one I grabbed was this little kit, which is a Scrub Daddy kit. And in it, you can see there is a Scrub Daddy. And here's a scrub mummy. Now, let's get it out and I want to show you the difference if you're not sure. So the scrub daddy is that flex texture throughout. And it's still got the eye hole so you can put your fingers in. I use the smile for like the knives with peanut butter. They work really well in there. So this is hard when it's dry and when wet it becomes softer. So just like this. If I put weights on it, it won't actually bend. Like, as you can see there, I'm squeezing it. It's not changing. But if it gets with warm water, it'll become quite flexible. Whereas the Scrub Mummy, so it has two different surfaces. It has a sponge and then it has the pink kind of flexy texture. So it's still got the smiley face, so you can still put your fingers in it for cleaning. The great thing about this, or one of their claims, is that you can get a lot more suds with it. Now, one of the ladies I've been enjoying on YouTube is this lady over in Finland who does disaster cleans. And she uses this a lot. And I am so amazed at how much she can do with a scrub mummy. So I just wanted to get that. I haven't had a scrub mummy before. I've just had the scrub daddy. Um, and we've used those quite regularly. The other thing that came in this pack was some dishwashing liquid. And I do, as you know on my channel, tend to use dishwashing liquid in different places, like for cleaning the toilet. I'll just use dishwashing liquid. So I grabbed this one, and one of the reasons I wanted to get this too is they have this Scrub Daddy soap dispenser. <laughs> Look at me getting excited over cleaning products. But here we go. Um, when you clean as much as what I do, you might as well enjoy it, hey? So if I open this up, I'm going to do a bit of a demo at the end, but you can actually peel this off, put the soap in, and then you can push it down, get soap onto that, or you can squeeze it out the bottom. So that's the idea of it. And it's actually quite a big container. Like if I compare it to my hand, you know, it's actually quite substantial. So that's great. So there's some new things I'm going to be trying. Then I just got another scrub daddy. Now, one of the claims about these that I have actually not tried, but I was thinking I might give a go if I'm just using it with dish soap, it can go in the dishwasher to sanitize. If I was using it with other pastes and stuff like that, I don't think I'd put it in the dishwasher, but I haven't tried that yet. But if I've got one that I'm just using with dishwashing liquid, I could put it in there to sanitize. So the other things I grabbed, as you know, I do love the Dishmatic. We have one in the sink and we've got one in the shower and I just fill it half vinegar, half dish soap. So, like I said, I've got two. I wanted to get one for the kitchen because once again, it's got that flexy texture. And so it's better than using like a scourer that is gonna scratch surfaces, but it's a bit more than just using a sponge. This has got the flex texture, then it's got like foam, so that's gonna help with the suds. And then it's got this at the back, for scraping sometimes you just need a bit of scraping and it's gonna sit well look it sits on my hand well so on a flat surface it'll sit a lot better um, and you just unscrew it and put in some liquid the other thing I grabbed in that range was a damp duster another thing I wanted to try I definitely find if I use a damp cloth I pick up more dust like just a damp microfiber cloth than if I do a dry wipe down so this is a damp duster and as you can see it's got ridges in it so it's just going to do a little bit more than just a flat surface. So I'm looking forward to trying that. And then while I was testing out even more of their products, I grabbed the Steel Scour Daddy. So that is rough. So when you need a little bit more, that's what it's got there. And it's claiming the same thing. So it is claiming that it is soft and flexible in warm water 
and firm in cold water and it comes with two in a pack. The other thing I've heard people talk about is the smell of this one, the Scrub Daddy Multi-Surface Cleaner. So I picked this one up, 750 ml bottle. Fragrance is lime and mint. Um, it's, it's saying it's not a bleach formula, but it's hard to actually find what it contains. Oh, here we go. One of the other things is I really wanted to try their power paste. So I attempted to clean the oven with just dish soap and our oven is too far gone. <laughs> so I thought I'd try the power paste and I was really surprised because this is expensive. I looked at lots of different websites and they all seemed to say a similar price, but I thought if I could bundle it all together and get a big bulk load with the free shipping, then it might work out slightly cheaper. Um, this has a scrub mummy in it and it also has the paste down the bottom. But the thing that I really like about it is look at the size. So compared to my hand, it's actually a very decent sized container. Down here is where the paste is and up the top is where the sponge is. And I'm not really sure what it's got in here. <laughs> and I'll put the ingredients up on the screen for you. Um, so I'm not really sure what that is either. And then I wanted to get a scraper. Sometimes we will use like our scraper plastic scraper but sometimes with food that's hard on you just need to use a scraper so i grabbed this cooktop one it comes with five blades it's from white magic the other thing i bought um, is this minky cloth and it definitely feels different and it is just for glass and windows and i know you guys have said to me previously ali why don't you just use water and a cloth um, so I'll give this one a go, but I did also buy some glass spray as well, which I've seen people use with it as well. But yeah, so that's one of their claims of it, chemical free cleaning. So it's mainly composed of polyester. So I'll give that a try. I'm looking forward to trying that on some of the windows and mirrors. We'll see how they go. So Koala Eco, you guys know from my grocery hauls that I use their veg cleaner. It uses mandarin essential oil. So it's got quite a nice smell to it. Um, so I grabbed some more of that while I was doing this. And then some new products that I wanted to try. So I grabbed this pillow and linen spray and that is just totally being influenced by Instagram. There's a few people that I see who use this. So that's why I've grabbed this one. I thought I'd give it a try. And it is eucalyptus, peppermint and rosalina. Smells nice. That was one thing the post office said. It didn't smell bad. <laughs> the package smelled quite good. And that is because the majority that was leaked was the peppermint glass cleaner. There is only that much left down the bottom. Um, and this is eco-friendly, non-toxic. And its number one ingredient is water. And then peppermint essential oil is the next one. And then an alcohol. And lastly, a solberliser. So whatever that kind of means. And this bottle is like 100% used from recycled bottles. So that's great. I actually don't have a diffuser or anything like that. So I don't mind cleaning products that have a bit of a nice smell to them. You know, one of our favorites is eucalyptus and water. Um, so I grabbed this one. This is a uh, kitchen multi-purpose and it is lemon myrtle and mandarin. I tried a little bit last night. It was another one that was spilt. So we'll get some more of that. And then the stainless steel cleaner. So this one is peppermint as well. And it, cause it has the same picture on it as the glass cleaner. It made me wonder if it's a very similar product and looking at the ingredients, yes, it's got the same order, but has an extra one in the stainless steel cleaner. Then I got a particular one for the bathroom. This is a eucalyptus one. So main ingredient is water and then it's eucalyptus. So grab that one. And lucky last from this haul, I got a room spray. So this room spray is pink grapefruit and peppermint. So peppermint's quite a popular essential oil for their products. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying those and just having some different scents. I sprayed the kitchen bench with the multi-purpose kitchen cleaner and it smelled really nice. That was the lemon myrtle and mandarin. I do like lemon myrtle. So I just wanted to get some new products and just have a bit of fun with it. And I'm looking forward to testing out a few of these in some upcoming videos as well. I bought this from Amazon, I'm pretty sure. The pink stuff. So I have never tried the pink stuff. Um, I'm guessing, you know, you guys tell me, is it quite similar to the power paste and gumption? Like it's that kind of paste. So I don't know. But anyway, I um, picked this one up. So I'm looking forward to trying that as well. So let's go to the kitchen now and try a couple of things. Oh, wow. It smells very orangey. <laughs> Zesty orange. Just 
sticker on. Now it says squeeze sides just once, so we'll do that. Boop. Then here's the scrub daddy we've been using. So it's a little bit wet. Compared to now. So let me make sure you guys can see. So I should go like this. Ah, there it is. Probably, probably go like this too. <laughs> Sorry, don't do that. Okay, I was trying the first time. Alright, so push down. That gets the suds on it. <laughs> and then if I wanted to squirt on a bottle or something, I could push down like that. Oh dear, not the best demonstration. But hey, you can tell I'm using it for the first time. And as you can see, it's started up nicely. Smells good. So there's a bit of a mark here. I'm hoping, yes. Yeah, comes off a bit easier because of the texture of this. The lady I've been watching suds everything up. She's like a professional cleaner. She suds everything up and then she's like, and then you wipe it down. But first you just put the liquid everywhere and sud it up before you start scrubbing. Great. And then the other day I watched one of hers where she demonstrated how to fold a microfiber cloth to get the most out of it. So that's how she did it. And then... That side's wet. My side over there is still dry. So if I open it this way and then shut that wet side I've got here, which is dry. That looks great. It really got a sparkle to it. But that is looking great. So this little cute thing, isn't that nice with the orange? I'm going to pop that there. That smells so good. It is very, very fresh. And then like I was saying, because it is wet, it is soft. All right, let's do this sink quickly because I think this video is getting quite long and most people would have stopped watching by now. So for those who are still here, thank you. I can actually squish this whole thing in here. Give it a good clean. I've stopped putting the tea bags in here, which has been the main issue that they were just dirtying them. So it's a lot more sparkly anyway, but this works so well. Here we go, look under there. Can you see that? The other thing this professional cleaner was saying is product, time, and scrubbing. That's what does the cleaning. She said most products will actually work. It's just whether you've got the time for it. She tends to use oven cleaner a lot just because she does disaster cleans. So the oven cleaner works quicker. Um, but ours isn't that bad. So a bit of scrubbing it should work. Wow, look at that guys. I am happy with that. And the smell is really good. So I don't know, sometimes you just gotta make cleaning a bit fun, you know, whether it's the music you put on or trying new products or fun products. Well, that's pretty good. I'm going to be doing more videos where I test out more of these products. Thanks heaps for watching. Bye.